What's good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is. Hey, bro, look. We got the trailer for Power Rangers once and always. We know we all been looking forward to this fool. What has gone on now? Many, many months. Many, many years for some of us. So we got high hopes for a living. Forgot who made that, but let's go. After all these years, I found a new body. Ah! Well, it can't be. I don't like Robo Arena. I don't like it. I don't like it already. She killed mom. We gotta destroy her. Oh! Okay. Let's sort this out. So they just killed her off now? I'll kill you before Zora makes you ranger. We gotta make sure we didn't time time travel. Attention, Power Rangers! Get to your assigned station. So Trini is the launch beam. Okay. Once a ranger, always a ranger. They got Rocky, not Jason. That's tough. That's tough. Your Moon Rangers. You wanna fight? No, Zach was like, what the you fuck? Where Jason is? You got this. Good luck. Now it's a Okay, radio. classic explosion. Look, okay, I'm with it. Thirty years in the making, boys. A lot to what? Juice bar. Juice bar. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Okay, some of this looking a little, a, a little low budget. Some of it definitely looking a little low, low tier. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta be that guy. I love y'all, but I have a responsibility to the people on this channel. I have a responsibility to the entire Power Rangers community. Y'all have come to me for years, for that real, for that honest. I gotta be a bad guy today. And I have no problem with that. <laughs> I'm back. Because this is giving low budget. This is giving mid-tier fan film for multiple reasons. One, Robo Rita looks thrown together. Like that was an idea, a villain that they came up with spur of the moment. The Zords at the end look like early 2000s Disney era CGI. It looks honestly on par with the special effects from Dino Thunder. And I love Dino Thunder, but let's be honest. That shit came out in 2004. What we just saw with the Zords, that was not the business. You are a toy! It looked mid-tier fan film. I don't want to get into naming what mid-tier may be, but it ain't Bat in the Sun. It ain't Nerdbot. It ain't Unworthy Productions. That's above the quality of what we just saw right there. With that being said, the juice bar looked a little like the set from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It was given Sesame Street. Oscar the Grouch. It was given Mr. Noodle. It was giving. Okay? I was like, oh, the juice bar looks a little cheap. You know, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Now, I remember the juice bar looking a little bit more spacious than that. <laughs> Don't tell me y'all got cheap and just recolored the Riptide Gym from Beast Morphers. Don't tell me you did that, because if you did, I'm going to roast the shit out of you. I will go demon time. Don't tell me you did that. The stunts, the choreography. Now, granted, this is only a minute and some change. I'm assuming we haven't seen the best it has to offer. But, the action in this didn't really look like it was anything special. It looked kind of generic. Honestly, the action from Forever Red trumps this. Now, with the negatives being out the way, positives. I love that Trini's death is the launch pin to them coming back. I love that. Speculation time. 
I believe Zach is the father to the young girl here. I believe that. The photos are giving daughter and daddy, daddy, daughter. Right? Meaning that when Jason, Zach, and Trini went to the World Peace Conference, that my man Jason was third willing. Crazy. Crazy, bruh. I'm still looking forward to this. I'm still excited for this. I'm still going to watch it the day it comes out. We're still going to review it. We're still going to have multiple videos discussing it. But I expect it higher quality, to be honest. I understand.